Hello and welcome to today's video. This video brings to you Breezebox 960. Stay tuned to find out more about this amazing family house design. Welcome back. Breezebox 960 is a modern four bedroom shipping container house designed using four high cube 40 and 20 foot shipping containers this video covers a complete presentation of dimension drawings a cost estimate checklist 3d floor plans and full color pictures of the exterior and interior design of the house watch to the end of the video for the dimension floor plans and a cost estimate checklist to guide you on your own shipping container house project we post weekly videos on modern homes designed using shipping containers with stunning configurations and combinations to create bespoke designs that can suit any family home. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for our inspiring weekly videos on amazing design ideas. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. First, we look at the design concept. This design uses four shipping container modules to create a 960 plus square feet breeze box. Two 20 foot shipping containers are placed six meters apart on the ground floor to create a breezeway. A pair of 40 foot shipping containers are stacked perpendicularly on top. The two pairs of stacked containers are linked vertically using a staircase shaft at the middle of the breezeway. The entire length of the breezeway to the rear of the building is fronted by a family terrace to enhance outdoor living. Design brief. This five bedroom, 960 plus square foot family house is made from four high cube shipping containers. The two 20 foot shipping containers on the ground floor accommodate the public spaces of the house. The other two 40 foot shipping containers are stacked on top perpendicularly to accommodate the private spaces of the house. These four containers create a storied house in form of a breeze box. In this stunning family house, we have ingeniously accommodated the following salient features. On the ground floor, from the main entrance, you get into the entrance lobby, which acts as the breezeway to this particular house. From the breezeway, you are able to access the guest bedroom. You are able to access the clock room. And also from the same breezeway, you are able to access the open plan living room, which comprises of the lounge, the dining, the kitchen, the laundry, and the kitchen yard. From there, you are also able to access the outdoor living space. Yeah, the guest bedroom is self-contained and it also has a private Juliet balcony. The staircase links the ground floor and the first floor. When you land on the first floor, you first of all get into the rompers room which can also act as a children's playroom or a family TV room. From there, you are able to access a girl's bedroom. We also have a boy's bedroom and a common bathroom. On one end of the shipping containers, you have a master bedroom, which is in suite and also has a walk-in closet. From there, you are also able to access the master bedroom Juliet balconies. From the rompers room, you are able to access the family terraces from the staircase lobby. Foundation design. The containers sit on a 250 millimeter reinforced concrete raft foundation. This allows us to elevate the containers off the ground away from moisture. You are encouraged to observe construction good practices on concrete ratio mix, climate, and also concrete curing when casting your foundation slab. 
For more information, you are encouraged to go through our previous presentation on the top five foundation types used in shipping container homes and buildings. Structure and modifications. The roof and the walls of shipping containers are structural and load bearing. Containers are therefore designed to be loaded at the corners. Any intermediary loading must be reinforced. Cutting out too much steel from the walls for doors and windows interferes with the structural integrity of shipping containers. It is very costly to restore the roof and the floor of shipping containers as compared with bracing and reinforcing wall for door and window cutout. Our design principle as shelter mod homes we do not tamper with the roof and the floor of our shipping container modules. This design retains the original container cargo doors on the container ends to create Juliet balconies for the master bedroom and also for the guest bedroom downstairs. In this design, we do not have any specialized modifications because the sizes of the windows and doors in this particular design are optimal and therefore no specialized reinforcement will be required. The breezeway on the ground floor abuts to an open plan living room which is connected to an outdoor living space with a covered deck. A deck is a quick and an easy way to add extra living space to a container house by greatly extending outdoors the rather compact living space inside a shipping container. The outside space in this particular design is covered with a glass roof to create a living space awash with adequate daylighting and also to shield it from direct weather elements. The top stacked containers are covered with a corrugated steel roof which also acts as an iconic design statement that gives character to this family home. The two pairs of stack containers are linked vertically with a staircase shaft. The staircase shaft acts as a design element which gives flair to this design in addition to providing vertical circulation to access the upper story of the building. Outdoors and exterior design. The parallel walls on the breezeway of the open plan living room is fitted with full height folding glass doors to connect the indoor living space to the outdoors. The sliding and floating doors used in this particular design are used as good space savers and therefore they come in ideal for a shipping container house owing to the limited space in a shipping container module. The full height sliding glass doors provide access to the cargo door Juliet balconies to the master bedroom and the guest bedroom for maximum daylighting to enhance an industrial yet warm and cozy effect connecting the house to the surrounding landscape. As a sustainable design statement, the exterior of the lower level shipping containers are left as they are, including its original blue color and markings. This helps to preserve the charm and the history of the containers in addition to reducing the cost on painting the exterior. The containers on the upper level, however, have their original yellow color interspersed with bands of timber cladding to enhance its exterior appeal. Depending on your country, budget, climate, and local planning regulations, you are encouraged to explore other exterior finishes. Next, we look at furniture and interior design. Fitting furniture in a shipping container home can be a challenge. Most standard furniture hasn't been designed specifically for small spaces inside a container. You are encouraged to incorporate multifunctional transforming furniture and other space saving furniture ideas such as Murphy beds or wall in beds to allow a single space to perform more than one function. To complement the industrial look of the container, it is also advisable to adopt a minimalist design to make the rather narrow space feel somewhat spacious. For more information, 
you are encouraged to go through our previous presentation on the top 10 modern space saving furniture design ideas for shipping container homes. To minimize the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container, the walls of the living area are finished with monochrome light colored paint. Since this is a container house, consider using similar materials to finish the kitchen, backsplash and the bathroom walls. This repetitive theme creates harmony, therefore making the house appear bigger. Insulation and temperature control. Shipping containers are made of cotton steel. Steel is a good conductor of heat and therefore to live in a shipping container, insulation and temperature control is essential. So for proper insulation and temperature control for any shipping container house, the most important thing to consider is the climate of the area where you want to build your shipping container house project. If you live in the tropics, you are encouraged to keep away heat from your container house because that is the biggest challenge you need to confront. If you live in the cold climate areas, you are encouraged to keep away moisture and also keep away dampness from your shipping container. If you don't do that, your container it will be susceptible to condensation and also formation of mold. So to avoid all these problems, you are encouraged to use closed cell spray foam insulation, which will provide you with a good moisture barrier and also prevent condensation inside your shipping container house project. For more information and details on insulation of shipping container houses, you are encouraged to go through our previous video where we've covered top eight insulation and temperature control strategies for shipping container homes. In addition, the containers on the first floor level are roofed with a corrugated steel roof which is elevated about the roof of the containers to allow for airflow and also to regulate temperature for the bedroom spaces and also to enhance the general look of this particular design. Drawings and details. As earlier mentioned, this presentation has covered a complete set of fully dimensioned drawings to guide you in your own shipping container project. The drawing set includes dimensioned floor plans, a roof plan and elevations. The drawings come in both color and grayscale to help you pick your preference. Feel free to adopt anything from the drawings that is suitable for your own shipping container project. Cost estimate checklist. This is an itemized checklist to guide you on the things to consider when planning for your own shipping container project. If you feel we have omitted anything on the list, feel free to add. If there is any over provision, you are encouraged to remove in order to compile a complete list to suit your own shipping container house project. The prices of the items in the list are subject to vary depending on your country your currency exchange rate, taxes, and government regulations. For correct and factual figures, you are encouraged to consult the relevant expert in your country. Having gone through this presentation, what do you feel about our new house design? Do you have any questions? Feel free to ask by posting in the comments below. If you need further inspiration, visit our YouTube channel or check out our other container home designs. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to visit our website sheltermod.com or follow us on Twitter at sheltermod. If you want to buy blueprints or need further consultation, contact us on our website or like us or inbox us on our Facebook page. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container house designs. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.